kitchen tools along with recipes so you can make what I'm making at my house at your house. And today we're going to be making chicken parmesan, okay, a chicken parmesan in the quick cooker. So this is for those people that just don't want to slave on the stove, you just want to plop, plop, fizz, fizz over in the quick cooker and uh, get it all cooking for you. Now this, this uh, quick cooker is available for 60% off in the month of April, so get your, get your uh, party started now so that you can get this quicker. You can also get it for free. Yeah, absolutely free uh, this month when you join as a Pampered Chef Consultant. Uh, Pampered Chef Consultants start as low as $39 today and tomorrow only. They have a, a Pampered Chef has a special where you can um, uh, become a consultant for $39. It includes your apron, uh, catalogs, uh, the 10 inch uh, cast iron pan, a seasoning, a scraper, and um, the season's best to learn to, to, to give you the recipes to cook from. But how you get this for free is that once you submit $500 in uh, personals and in, in sales, then you get the quick cooker absolutely free. When you submit $1,250 in sales in your first 30 days, not only do you get the quick cooker, you also get the deluxe uh, uh, grill, uh, electric grill and griddle. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like here. You also get this. All right, here's the the, pamp the uh, quick cooker is right here. Let me turn this around. Right there's our quick cooker. Oops, there we go. Let me angle you up. Right there is our quick cooker that we're talking about. You get that free when you become a consultant and you host your own first show. And so five hundred dollars, you get that free, and then at twelve fifty, you get this deluxe grill and griddle for free, absolutely free, um, and plus your commission, which is twenty percent, so you earn at least two hundred dollars um, at a thousand dollars. Okay, plus you get all this stuff for free. Uh, so that's the deal that is going on today and tomorrow with Pampered Chef. Welcome into my kitchen. I'm Alexis. I live here in southeast coast of Georgia with my mom and my dog Cooper, and I am a consultant for the last five years, y'all. Good morning, uh, Leo. Thank you for the uh, high five award is it hi award hello hi and terry uh, stewart is over on facebook all right good morning mary how are you doing thank you for your order last night on the um feeding america um texas fundraiser we are having uh, a party going on at i need i need 775 dollars. that's my goal 775 dollars between now and tomorrow Seven hundred. so if you find it in your heart and that you need um, some pampered chef into your kitchen today's the day to purchase it okay Otherwise, I'm going to be SOL. Um, really, really. Um, the directorship is, is on the line right now. So anyway, let's get going. We're going to um, cook up some stuff. I do have some chicken out. I'm only doing one chicken breast because it's just my mom and I. So I'm going to tweak the recipe just down a little bit. I like a lot of sauce in my um, in my pasta rather than a little bit. Okay. So we're going to be get, cutting up this little nice little piece of chicken. We're going to add some seasonings to it. Put it in our our uh, quick cooker and cook it away. All right. Hey, Bulldog Mom, how are you doing? All right. So um, I have, um, I did a, a broadcast already this morning on Periscope. It was, it's down to the last one day. It's today and po probably tomorrow that before Periscope goes bye-bye, I want to thank all those people coming over from Periscope and joining my broadcast here on HAPS. If you don't know what HAPS is, it's a social media app where you can go live and share out to different platforms. Uh, you'll only see all the comments on HAPS. If you are on uh, Facebook, you'll only see the Facebook comments. All right. Uh, and I try to say your name and also read your comments so that everybody uh, on the other platforms uh, knows what, what, you, what knows your question. All right. Or your statement. All right. Um, I am uploading this video to YouTube. It is being shared out to my Facebook business page, my VIP group and my personal profile. It is also going out to Periscope. All right. To Twitter, Twitch. And that's it. No, that's enough, right? So anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, let's see. I have a knife. We're going to slice up our chicken. Make sure your knives are nice and sharp in your kitchen. If you need a honing tool or a sharpening tool, please get it because a dull knife is the worst thing in your kitchen. All right. All right. So let's uh, angle this down and we're going to um, see if I can angle you all the way down. There we go. There. All right. So you have the sink down here where you see the comments. All right. But we have... Um, Garlic and herb rub is one of my favorite seasonings of Pampered Chef wine. All right. I use that on almost everything. But it's for this recipe. We have our chicken here. And yeah, I'm touching my chicken. And then we'll wash our hands. We're going to slice this thing up. It's about uh, 12 ounces of chicken. So it's not quite a full pound of chicken here. And we're just going to slice it up using our nice sharp knife. Okay. And you can see how nice and, and clean this cuts it. All right. And you're just going to do it into bite-sized pieces, pieces that you want to put on your fork that you're not going to use a knife uh, with. All right. So we're going to slice it. All right. Just slice them right up. Just do a nice little like 
um, maybe three quarters of an inch or so. All right, not an inch by an inch. All right, it could be, it could probably possibly be an inch. No, it's less than an inch. I'm looking at my little guy right here. All right, so just slice your um, chicken up, and this is like slicing through like butter because I'm using my nice chef's knife, which is um, you can get this set for sixty percent off. Another um, a good line in your in your kitchen tool tools that you need is a good uh, knife a knife set actually and this one here is the uh, chef's knife Bryce has this knife up in his apartment up in uh, Athens Georgia where he goes to school that's my son he is 19 and he is studying uh, biology at the University of Georgia okay uh, so there we go let's put that right down I haven't heard from him uh, since Saturday y'all all right I sent them a message, I think yesterday, saying, hey, did you make it back? Did you make it to work on Saturday? All right. So we're going to slice that up. And it's like, yeah, go dogs, right? Go dogs. Hello, Mandy from Boise, Idaho. How are you doing? I have a knife in my hand, so I'm not re really reading the comments. All right. Uh, I'm going to slide that over. We're just we're just slicing up our chicken. All right. There. Into nice bite-sized pieces. All right. And the smaller you cut them, the, the quicker they're going to cook too. All right. Let me see. Get make sure I got them all nicely small. All right. Small pieces. Get that off. There. I don't really want them that big. I don't want to be cutting my chicken and my chicken parmesan. And again, this is really easy. You can actually, um, if you have a whole bag of chicken, which I bought the chicken on sale at Winn Dixie, it was a dollar seventy nine a pound for a chicken breast. Um, you can buy it and then freeze it and stuff like that and we're probably going to do that later on um all right so i have that let me um wash my hands because i gotta touch some other stuff right now okay so make sure you wash your hands with soap and water when you're touching chicken all right i do have it on the mat all by itself right there all right and um we're going to turn on our our quick cooker now the quick cooker is this device right here by pampered chef all right and it is an awesome tool. I saw somebody using an Instant Pot yesterday. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know where the steam was coming out. She goes, yeah, it's gonna be hot when it comes. I said, oh my gosh. I said, hey, we're gonna, it has 16 different settings, but we're gonna go over to uh, steam or sear, sear. And we're just gonna push the start button and let this start getting hot, all right? And it comes with a nice little uh, lift right here that you could put stuff on top of here, but we don't need this for this recipe. One thing about the quick cooker is that you need the seal inside of it. The seal um, uh, uh, needs to be flush, all right? Because a lot of your problems, if it's not, if you don't have your seal in correctly, it won't come to pressure. Another thing is on, on the top right here, this is the release button, and this is where the steam comes out. Now, this thing does come out to clean it, all right? It just pops right out, but you can pop it right back in, all right? And uh, the two little um, little steam things, the clouds, need to be going in the same direction, all right? And it cannot be askew. So if it is askew that there's a little lift on here, it won't come to pressure because your steam's coming out. So make sure that this is, this is nice and flush, all right? And then when it does come to pressure, there's a little red button right here that pops up and it tells you it's, a, it's, it's already come to pressure. And this top will not move once it comes to pressure in here, all right? Uh, it does have the steam goes away from you. It's not going straight up. It's going out at an angle. So make sure it's not on any count, uh, cabinets or uh, walls. All right. So great little tool to have. It makes the best cheesecake, uh, best key lime pie, uh, little desserts in there. Um, we, we've done cake in here, eggs in here, you name it. We're going to do some um, hard-boiled eggs for Easter in here also tomorrow, okay? And then we're going to decorate our eggs and stuff like that. So we have a lot to get done in here. So this is heating up. We have it on the sear function. It does have just steam your vegetables, slow cooker. It does come with a lid for the slow cooker. It's a glass lid that you can actually look what's inside because you all know I like to see what's cooking, right? Um, uh, it has a proofing one, so it actually reduces the time of proofing bread because it's in a safe, warm environment uh, that's controlled, and it'll rise your bread inside here. It doesn't cook the bread, but it proofs the bread, all right? Uh, you have chicken and poultry setting. These are preset to different times and temperatures. Uh, you have beef and pork, fish and seafood stock and uh, soup and stock over there. Then we have different types of uh, grains, white rice, brown rice, whole grains beans if you're doing just beans and it comes with its own cookbook and it tells you the times and everything that that you need to do with it uh, cook it so it has a whole thing on beans all right and it tells you the exact time all right 
And this is like my Bible. This little book has all the vegetables, what time you need to, how, how long you need to cook it. Um, these are like three easy starters, the easy peel, boiled, hard-boiled eggs. The simple salsa, you see me do this all the time. I love this. This is great for diets. All right. And this is really good. The quick cooker is for, um, you can actually put frozen chicken in here. So if you get home and you're like, oh my God, I forgot to take the chicken out of the freezer. You can actually put the chicken in there frozen. Now it will take a lot longer to come to pressure and a little bit longer to cook, but it or actually is a lot longer to come to pressure because it needs to bring that uh, icy chicken down to, to a certain temperature. So it, uh, if you forgot to um, take out your chicken, no big deal. You just put it in there, let it cook it up and then you can shred it up afterwards. All right. <clears throat> Good morning. How is everybody? Where are y'all coming in from? <clears throat> Give me a shout out. We got to drink some water while this heats up. I should heat it up while, while we're doing the chicken, but sometimes I forget y'all. So anyway, cheers everybody. Hydration nation. So today is the next to the last day before Periscope goes bye bye. And I did a great broadcast from my bathroom y'all. And I put my makeup and my lipstick and everything else on. I showed them my bathroom. So if you're on, um, if you're, if you're left Periscope, you'll go back and watch the, one of my final broadcasts. Okay. It's behind the scenes by Alexis. Okay. All right. So we're going to put some, a lot of garlic and herb spice on here. All right. I'm going to get some salt and pepper too. All right. Let me get the salt and pepper over here. I need, I need some more pepper in my peppers, okay? And I'm not putting too much pepper in because I've been putting too much pepper on everything lately, okay? I've been tasting pepper everywhere. And then salt. Yes, put salt on it because that's the first time you're gonna, you're really flavoring your chicken up, all right? So we have all of our seasonings on here, all right? And we're gonna put this, I love diced chicken. Yeah, I love diced chicken. So we're gonna put in about, um, I have to get my, my uh, recipe out, y'all, because I forget. I don't memorize recipes, y'all. All right, so we're going to put in, it says two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just going to do one tablespoon. I don't need two tablespoons of, of, of it. So uh, let's measure it, y'all. Measure it, okay, so we can get the right amount. Because one tablespoon is a lot of, of oil in there. Yeah, that's a lot, all right? Plus, then we're not doing a whole um, one pound of chicken or two pounds. It says one pound of chicken. So we're, we're doing 12 ounces of chicken going in there, okay? All right, what type of coffee do you like to drink? Um, I've been, uh, I am not a coffee connoisseur. <laughs> where, where, where are we having coffee? If we're having at the house, it's uh, Maxwell House or Folgers. Oops, I'm moving you. Uh, I need a spoon. All right, here we go. Get our thing out and just, it should be hot. Let's see. It's here, it's sizzling. Put that right in. There we go. It's all off. All the seasonings down there, put that in there. And spreading it out. There we go. Oh, that's nice. All right. Let's put that in there because it has raw chicken on it. So we're going to let that uh, sear up. The chicken is cooking right now. All right. We're going to par cook our chicken. And my dog needs to go out. All right. Let's go out. Cooper, oh, Cooper doesn't want to go out. He's, he's teasing me. Uh, so Maxwell House is not bad. Uh, no, it's not bad. It was on sale for four ninety nine, and I got a whole container for four, for five bucks, y'all. I got like a hundred glasses of of uh, coffee, which we can get that out. Let's get some coffee out. Let's make some coffee for Daniel there, okay? So I'm I'm almost down to my last one on here. All right, I should get it out and put it out in the garbage. It, on the recycle thing because we recycle plastics here. All right. So let's get our, a nice refillable thing. All right. Uh, this is where you like, you get ambidextrous, like you have to get creative on. Let's get our, like Alexis really goes to the last drop here, y'all. All right. I need a, I need a little thing to put this in. All right. Let's see. We got it in. All right. Here. Got one. We got one. Pull that up and let's get the last of the coffee out and then I can put this in the garbage there. We are using all of the, when I say good to the last drop, I really mean good to the last drop y'all. All right, there we go. So one little piece, we want to use up everything. All right, so we're going to have a short piece of coffee here. Good enough. All right. No more coffee. All right, we got the new one. We can open up the new one tomorrow. 
So this can go in my recycle bin if I can get it out there before the end of the show. It usually comes around nine o'clock. All right, so I got a short one. All right, it's not quite full. And we need a lid there. The mug comes out. All right, put that over there. Put on the small one. And we're, we're good to go. Good morning, Rachel. How are you doing, girl? Rachel, did you see my um, scope in the bathroom? I do the bathroom scope over on Periscope. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. I, I was okay with it. I, I did my hair. I showed how to do this braid over there. That was fun. That was fun. Let's get the coffee off here. We don't coffee in our chicken parmesan. So the chicken parmesan is a recipe in the quick cooker um, recipe book here. All right. Very simple, easy to make. It has two tablespoons of olive oil, which you know I cut back and only did one tablespoon of olive oil. Um, I did 12 ounces of chicken, not one pound, because it's just my mom and I. Uh, we're going to use three tablespoons of herb of garlic rub. I didn't use that much, but we'll put some more in there. Then we're going to use some tomato, so uh, tomato pasta sauce. And my mom has these, and I'm just using this up, all right? I'm using this, the stuff that I have in the refrigerator. In the freezer. I may put some wish tartar sauce in here, because that's some type of little part. Um, we need, I'm going to do probably one cup of uh, uncooked penne pasta, which I have rigatoni over there, and then one cup of water. And we're going to put all that in there and just let it cook. Hey, Daniel, just subscribe. Thank you for subscribing, okay? Is it an original roast? Uh, yeah, it's regular. It's regular. The original roast, and it is medium, the medium one. I don't like the light and the dark is too dark. The original, good to the last drop. It's the original. I love this. Only five bucks. It was on sale at Winn Dixie. All right. So coffee's on Daniel today. Cheers, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, I, why we? I, I'm the only one that drinks coffee and I buy it for five bucks. Yeah, that's well worth five bucks. You go to Starbucks, I'm spending five, six bucks, six dollars and like 30 some cents for one coffee. Oh, man, this is so good having a cup of coffee with y'all and getting my dinner done. All right. Oh, that's looking so good down here. All right, we're going to have to move you over here. I'm going to put you down into the, into the. Oh, coffee is so good. Nice and hot. Oh, yeah. All right, let's flip the camera. I think I can put you right there. Ooh. Yeah, you have to reverse view. Oops. And I need to put you up higher. Oops. Can I get you up higher? There. We may have to open up the cabinet and put you in the cabinet too. Okay. There. Uh oh. Can you see inside? All right, so we got that inside. You're precariously perched here. We're going to move it around. And you see the chicken is still pink. You want to cook that just a little bit longer, okay? There are bits and pieces down here, but it'll scrape up, okay? You see that? You want that, okay? There we go. Just a little bit longer. I'm going to add in one more um, tablespoon of Seasoning here. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here. I don't want steam on my. Okay, one more steam. One more. This is highly seasoned um, chicken. All right. There. So we're gonna add in um, our sauce. Let me get scissors. I'm going to open up my, my, my sauce, all right? I'm just going to um, use the scissors to open this up. Okay. And again, you can have your pieces cut. Um, if you have a lot of chicken, pre-cut your chicken and put them in a plastic bag and you can freeze it. And if you forget to bring it out, then you just pop it in here. Skip this little part here. It won't, be, it won't get the caramelization as it is right now. Um, but it'll be good. All right. And now we're going to add in our sauce. Uh, I'm going to add in, usually you add in one jar of sauce. Okay. Let's just get that all down. 
right, I'm just getting all that down into my my goodness. I'm going to do another thing of sauce because I like I like a lot of sauce, y'all. Okay, I'm not sure about you. I know my son Bryce does not like sauce on his his spaghetti. My mom, she's average, and I am extra sauce. So we're going to do extra sauce in here. All right, I got two, one big container basically. So I think this is about 30, 36 ounces of, of sauce, which is a little bit more than what the recipe calls for. And I use a little bit less chicken, but we like a lot of sauce. I like a lot of sauce. All right, there we go. And then we're going to add in our, our pasta. It says for two, um, two cups of pasta, but we're going to just gonna do about one cup of pasta because I'm going to add in zucchini probably at the, at the end of it. Okay. And so I'm going to get one cup of pasta. And I'm using just rigatoni pasta. And we're going to do one cup of pasta. There we go. There. All right. It's a little over a cup. One cup. We might need a little more. I think I'm going to go a cup and a half, y'all. There you go. Why be cheesy? All right. There. Let's put that one in. That one lost, lost it. And then we're going to add in about three quarters of a cup because we already have liquid in here and I don't have as much uh, pasta. I'm going to add in some liquid water. All right. We're going to mix this up. I'm going to rinse off my spoon that I used before because it has raw chicken on it. And we're just going to mix this up. All right. Now that's all it can, that's all you need. And then we're going to put the, um, the top on, but I'm going to taste my sauce right now, and I think it's going to be a little tart, and I want to add a couple extra just to make it my own. All right. And I need a spoon. I need a tasting spoon. I want to see how it tastes. Well, that tastes pretty good. All right. Very tomato -y. All right. So if you want, um, I'm going to add in some wish tire sauce just because I like it. Okay. And we're going to add in about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, this is making it my own. All right. All right. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of color to my uh, sauce. All right. Just, and this is the browning sauce. It's going to make that, that bright red a little bit darker. It's going to bring it out the color in it. Okay. There we go. And you only, maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon. All right. And we can mix these two together. Now, if your sauce is a little bit too too tart, you can add like a, a tad bit of like um, baking soda will, will make it um, less tart and also um, sugar if you want the sugar in it. Okay. But now it's like a nice, rich, dark color. All right. So we've got all that in there. Let me review my ingredients. We put in here olive oil, our chicken, uh, garlic and herb rub by Pampered Chef, tomato pasta and uncooked penne pasta and some water. So that's all we're doing. We're going to put our lid on here. We go, put the lid on. All right, I'm going to pull you further back now so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Yeah, yeah. I got lots of stuff here. All right, let's pull you back over. And hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Hey, Rachel, thank you for the super hard award. All right, so you're high up today, you're really high. All right, there, let's pull us down. There we go, pull you down. Close my cabinet door, all right. And we're gonna cancel this off, all right. And we're gonna actually put it on here. I have to read my instructions now. We're gonna put custom for five minutes. All right, so we're gonna go custom. Um, cancel, we're gonna put custom, custom. And time, we're gonna go down on our time, five minutes. Five minutes and press start now make sure that your um, this thing is flush okay it is flush and it is um, ready to go look at that and that's that's pretty much your dinner you can wait a few minutes and it will um, uh, come to pressure and our pasta will be done and that's um, that's our chicken parmesan now the parmesan part we need to do the second part which is our crust our like topping on it and we're going to go over to the other counter and get the topping done okay good morning jfj how are you doing 
JFJ was in my bathroom this morning. Oh man, I miss Winn Dixie. We don't have them anymore in Northwest Georgia or any of our Chattanooga, Tennessee area. Is that straight black? Co yes, straight black coffee there, Daniel. Okay, your hair looks beautiful. I haven't done gone on Periscope for a couple of days. Yeah, Rachel, you can watch me. I showed you how to do it uh, on Periscope or on Periscope today. How to do my hair? I should do another one. Let's do the French braid today. I'll show you how to do the French braid behind your. <laughs> It's like it, it's so it's so simple. It's only two pieces of hair that we keep on adding one piece in and flipping it over. So you can see how I did it. Hopefully, I, I didn't even go back and review it. Hopefully, it, it was a good demonstration on how to do your hair like that. Oh, this is the perfect temperature now, Daniel. The coffee. Oh, God, yeah. Wow. All right. So what this is circling around like this? Um, it's coming to pressure. Once it comes to pressure, it'll start counting down, all right? It'll bring it up to five minutes that we programmed into it, and it'll count down. Once it counts down to zero, it'll beep at us. And that beeping just tells us, hey, it's done, but it'll stay at a warming temperature. So if you get called out and, like, your kids are, you know, you have to go pick them up at golf like I used to, like, I have to go pick up rice, it will stay at a warming temperature, and you don't have to do anything. It'll be ready for you whenever you get back. Okay, so it's not like, oh, I got to go get it and, and take care of it. Like it's, it's like when you're cooking something in the oven and the timer goes off, you got to check it. Right. Well, this one here, it keeps it at a warming state. All right. And this this um, quick cooker is a phenomenal tool because it doesn't heat up your kitchen. Uh, so during the summer, if you want to have like a nice pasta meal, we don't have to boil the water on the stove and heat up our kitchen and get it nice and hot. You just put it all in there and then it takes care of it. And it's always warm to the touch. It's never hot. All right. So that's a really good uh, feature on it. All right. Uh, let's see. Two new messages. All right. Uh, let's see. I will add. A, uh, so we did. We, we're going to add the oregano. It, I mean, Italian, the Italian sauce usually has all that in there. Uh, this one only calls for the garlic and herb rub. But the Parmesan um, uh, topping does call for Italian seasonings in it. Okay. It doesn't even have it in here. It just says um, uh, seasoned um panko breadcrumbs and i only have plain ones so i'll add the uh, italian seasonings on there i can french braid my girl's hair but i have never tried to do my own i have super, this is super long hair rachel rachel my hair has gone down to to the nape of my my back okay it is so long and i really do need to just go get it cut i did show that it's breaking off right around here it's like bro it broke off from doing too many ponytails over here so i'm trying to just do the braid and braid it so it stays a little bit thicker and doesn't um break when you pull out that ponytail um but if you can do braid if you can do french braid on your daughter's hair you can do it yours just don't look at yourself in the mirror doing it do not look at yourself because you'll get yourself totally confused hey marcia how are you doing girl how are you doing are you feeling good today uh let's see marcia you're gonna have to go over to periscope and see my um my uh my 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 getting ready behind the scenes before i come into the kitchen what it does i have no makeup on this morning on that scope okay on that periscope so <laughs> i'm like okay we can do it no makeup <laughs> Mine is just above my bum. Yeah, that's right. We're that's yeah, Rachel. It is really long. Are you gonna donate your hair? Or you just you just you just like it long. Mine breaks off. So, uh, donating it. I think I need to cut it and then let this this grow and get a little bit thicker. Hello, Doug. How are you doing over there on Periscope Land? All right. So uh, we need to get to the second one. Let me see. It's it's coming. I hear it coming to pressure. The second part of this is we're gonna get some butter. All right, we're going to melt our butter and we're going to put some panko breadcrumbs in there and some Parmesan cheese and some mozzarella. I don't have mozzarella cheese. We're not, we'll, we'll skip the mozzarella cheese. The mozzarella cheese, you just put it on top of your uh, pasta and then sprinkle the breadcrumbs, the, the Parmesan. So this is like a, um, a casserole version of chicken parmesan all right now we can do another chicken parmesan in the air fryer which i love that chicken i got a lot of chicken in there we can do different chicken parmesan in the air fryer which is really yummy and that gives a nice crunchy uh chicken on it this one here is more plop plop fizz fizz oh it's a casserole type thing and you know i don't like casseroles right but i do like this all right so we're going to do up the the crunchy part of it so let's get let's get over here let me turn on this other light put the uh, put the lights on over here y'all make it look like we're home all right let's put this there and i'm gonna flip you i'm gonna bring you over and flip you on on this other side right here there we go all right so here's our chicken parm pasta 
I will put the, um, this recipe is available by Pampered Chef and I will put it in the comments um, on HAPS here and on my VIP page, okay? So we have a little bowl because we don't need, really need a whole lot. We're gonna need some panko breadcrumbs and Italian seasonings because these are plain panko breadcrumbs and they want, um, they want us to use seasoned pan panko breadcrumbs, all right? I'm gonna get my scale out here and we are going to put some Parmesan cheese on here, okay? And I got, let me see how much Parmesan cheese we have. And that little one. And, I got this little tiny one and I don't think it's, 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 I think this is like a third of an ounce or so or half an ounce. Yeah. Look at that. I was almost, I was, there you go. Look at that. I was right in between it. All right. So we have that little piece right here that we can use that up. And then I got a brand new Parmesan cheese that we can open up this too and use this. All right. Um, let's see. I need some scissors, y'all. We need some scissors. All right. Scissors. All right. Get these scissors. Bryce hates these scissors. I love these scissors. These are nice scissors. These scissors actually, you can use this has a has a bottle opener here. Did you know that you can put this on here and uh, crack open a bar bottle on this one or a pop a top like that, like pop it like a bottle bottle opener here too. Um, it's moose and it can lift cans, like lift up stuff from here. So it's multifunctional. These scissors, all right, they have a lot of uses on them. Bryce did not like using using that. He always picked them up. You know why Bryce didn't like doing using these? Is that they came apart, and he would go over there and pick up the scissors, and it would always fall apart on him. I'm like Bryce, you pick up scissors with two. All right, I pick them up this way. He would always pick them up like this and fall apart. Even even if I picked them up, it's not falling apart. No, I only get a couple of inches cut off at a time now. Mine uh, gets split. I don't get the oh you have it you dye it and really blonde. Yeah. I showed shampoo over on that um, on that app also on the broadcast this morning. What a shampoo I use for um, white hair, but it's also good for blonde hair. It has the, the purple shampoo. Okay, so we're going to use this. We're going to use our zester. You see me use the zester all the time, and we're going to zest it right on here. I just need um, one ounce of Parmesan cheese. So this is um, uh, four point uh, four. So we're just going to zest this up. I'm just doing it right on the scale, y'all. And we'll just add it into our thing. I think I need a bigger bowl. How much Parmesan, how much um, bread, panko bread comes? Oh, we need a quarter cup. Okay. We don't need that much. Okay, there we go. There. Trying to get them all down there. And it's not registering down there. Well, we know. We know how much we need anyway. I'm just doing this one up. We're just getting it all the way up. This is really nice because it has a little hand handle. Like you can hold it like this. And it's for left or right-handed people. All right. On your zester. And my scale's not registering. It's like as light as fluff. There we go. Just get it down. Ah. We're down to the like the, the little thing. Now with these little tiny pieces, if you ever have little pieces of Parmesan left over, you can always freeze your Parmesan and then add them into your sauces. Um, it'll thicken it up and give you a nice little flavor if you have little pieces left over, all right? And it's, it's saying zero down there. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit more here because we already know that that's like 0.4. And do a couple more here. And that should be good enough. I'm not gonna do a whole lot because I don't need a whole lot of Parmesan. Probably a half an ounce. I'm doing a half an ounce. All right. All right. So we're going to get uh, the rest of it. Let's see. We need to get a um, a tablespoon of butter. All right. Let's get our butter out. All right. Butter, butter, butter. This is where my points come in. This and um, the um, pasta over there. All right, so about a good tablespoon of butter. We're gonna microwave our butter when the timer's up. All right, meanwhile, place the butter in a microwave safe bowl for 30 seconds until it's melted. And then we're gonna stir in our panko and uh, microwave it again. Oh, there we go. So I got my Parmesan cheese. We're gonna do this, put this in the microwave. All right, and my Parmesan cheese, I'm gonna need that. Um, I need a bowl. Good. All right. We're gonna put our Parmesan cheese here. 
There we go. Gotta clean off my scale, y'all. All right, we have three minutes left on our pasta over there. There we go. The butter's already melted, and we're gonna need uh, panko breadcrumbs. All right, we need at least a um, a quarter of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Quarter cup. All right, so all the Pampered Chef tools you see here are available for sale. I am having a uh, Pampered Chef um, Feeding America fundraiser, and I have a goal of $775, okay? That's what's left um, that I need. We're gonna stir in our butter with our panko breadcrumbs, and this is gonna make a nice little uh, topping, all right, for our chicken parmesan, okay? That's all you need, just a little bit. And we're gonna put this in the microwave again, and we're gonna actually make brown this up in the microwave. All right, you can do this on the stove top if you want. Um, it'll, and so using the microwave, but the microwave is how the instructions um, tell you to use it. So we're going by the instructions, all right? There you go. So put this in the microwave and we're gonna brown this up. All right, and it says to go put that back in um, for another 30 to set 45 seconds until the crumbs are lightly toasted. And we got the Parmesan ready to go to. Okay. All right, got all that. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot to stir in some Italian seasonings. We'll add the Italian seasonings when it comes back. All right, so when you get done with your Parmesan, make sure that you put the, the little back on here, but we're gonna get a um, plastic bag and put this in a plastic bag. I'm not using this one because this one had an older Parmesan in it and I want a nice new one for this. All right. Uh, let's see, oh, needs a little more. All right, so for 30 seconds, all right, we did this and I'm gonna put in, oh, it's getting nice and brown on the bottom. You see the nice brown is coming through, right? Probably a couple more seconds. We're gonna add in some Italian seasonings on this one. Cause again, it wasn't flavored. Good enough. All right. Yeah. All right. And my, um, um, all right. So we're gonna microwave this just a little bit more. 15 more seconds. All right, 15 seconds. We're gonna while that's in there, put this away. Hopefully it's gonna fit. Fit, fit. There we go. Fits perfectly in the snack bag. Right. Uh -oh. All right, so my my breadcrumbs are already done up. All right. You see how nice and brown they got brown from the bottom and we're just mixing them together. All right. I'm going to pick this up. There we go. So breadcrumbs, nicely toasted breadcrumbs to go on top of our pasta. And again, you can leave this off or add the calories to it, okay? All right, let's put that away. That's done. And we are all done with our pasta over on the other side. Let me see. Oh, got it. Flip the camera. Hello, hello, everybody. All right. You cook so much better than me. I just take some chicken season and throw it in the pan. Yeah, but then your chicken's going to be, um, you know, sometimes it gets a little dry. All right. So marinate your chicken, Daniel. Marinate it with a little lemon and pepper. Uh, just put it in a, in a Ziploc bag and marinate it for a little bit, like at least an hour. It'll bring your um, cooking up to another level. You can even add a little oil in there, oil, lemon, and pepper. Oh, that sounds really good, y'all. Um, you can also add in, um, I think, a balsamic vinegar. Okay, those are great breadcrumbs. Yeah, this, this is nice breadcrumbs, isn't it? <laughs> really quick, right? Uh, I'm lazy cook too, says Mary. If the recipe takes too long, I'll cook something else. Love, yeah, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. This is even less. This is even less, uh, Mary. Quick cooker, you have the quick cooker. Now, instead of doing the pot, you may want to get a vegetable pasta or a non-gluten-free um, um, pasta on there. It's gonna take you probably a little bit longer than non-gluten-free pasta. Or you can actually get vegetables and put your veggies in there. Like I'm gonna get probably um, um, zucchini and I'll put zucchini noodles in there 
in with my pasta. I got the lemon garlic. Ah, oh, how do you like it, uh, Marcia? How do you like the lemon garlic seasoning? That is so good, so good. I may have to go get some and just take a take a lick, right? Oh man, this is good coffee, y'all. All right. And you taste the lemon before you taste the garlic, right? All right, so where are you going to use it on? Where are you going to use your lemon garlic on? All right, let me get that out of the way. Get my thing. Flip it over here. All right, what did I use this? We just used that to, to hold stuff so I can put that away. Hello, Marion by the lake. How are you doing over on um, uh, Periscope? Marion, did you see my um, my bathroom scope? I did a uh, get get ready with, with Alexis behind the scenes. And I did my hair and my makeup. But you saw me with no makeup on this morning in my bathroom over on Periscope. Okay, delicious. All right, let's see. Goes our, uh, you could. Good morning there, Chris, uh, Chris Bruce. How are you doing? Good morning, uh, James Murray. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, uh, so this is a different type of, of chicken parmesan. It is not the full chicken breast. We can do that. I have another recipe on that one. Let me get the recipe out. Uh, not that one. This one here. The fryer. Air fryer. I think it's this one. This one. We'll do this one probably tomorrow. Let's do chicken parm. We'll do it again. This this chicken parm, this one here is so good. And you make it in the air fryer, okay, the air fryer. So this chicken parm, you can do chicken parm so many different ways. This is just one of many ways, okay? Uh, this is a really easy one, especially if you forgot to bring out your chicken and your chicken's frozen. Right in there, all right? Uh, I never made chicken. Okay, let's see. I wonder if you could do spaghetti squash instead of, the, yep, you can do spaghetti squash. You can do with any type of vegetables you want in here, okay? Uh, what type of dog do I have? We have, we didn't talk about the dog. He didn't go out yet. Uh, he's a black lab mix. He's just a mutt. Uh, which book is that? Uh, that one's the air fryer book that I just did. And then this one that we're doing this recipe in is the uh, the quick cooker book that comes with each of these um, appliances, small appliances by Pampered Chef, okay? This is water, we just put this one away. All right, just put this away. All right, so this is now counting up. We've been talking, it, it went down uh, to zero and now it's counting back up. It is at five right now. So we'll let it go to six, you'll see that's counting up. It's just keeping it warm and it's actually um, taking the pressure out of the um, uh, liquid cooker. All right, so let me see what it says on, on the pressure. So this is the only part that I have to definitely read, whether it is manual um, uh, release or if it's natural release. If it's natural release, it usually takes about 10 minutes at least for the pressure to go down, all right? And so this one says, um, when the timer is up, press cancel, press steam release button to manually release, all right? So we can manually release this. This is done. We don't have to wait for another 10 minutes. Well, my friend, it is 4.40 a.m. and I better get a couple more hours of sleep. <laughs> oh, you got to get your taxes done. Okay, Rachel, have a blessed day. Good luck on your taxes. I got to get, I got to figure out where mine are. Um, I sent them in, I think last week. I, I gave them to the accountant and said, here you go. Just be, just be kind on me because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm only doing Pampered Chef now has my full time job. So if you want to order, please order on the Feeding America. I have a goal. I need seven hundred seventy five dollars. And if every one of you, uh, we have, I don't know how many people watching right now, could buy at least twenty five dollars. We have a bag that I'm putting uh, a lot of Pampered Chef stuff in. And um, when you get one ticket into that bag, when you order $25. So if you order $100, you get four tickets in there. You can also get tickets into that bag, all right, by hosting your own Pampered Chef show in April or May. And you can also get a ticket in there if you go into the uh, table platform by Pampered Chef that I'm doing a party on there. And you can leave your email, your telephone number and comment on one uh, post and you'll get one ticket into the bag to get all that free stuff that I'm um, giving away. Okay. And the bag, I can go get it. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so it's a nice shopping bag. I actually um, found the one that's out of the bag. It's a nice little shopping bag, all right? And we're going to stock your shopping bag with Pampered Chef stuff that is um, one of a kind, okay? I don't think my order came to $25. I need, no, you, yours, yours was $31. That's, I include stripping a tax, Mary. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, 
Ne con daño. One order. It was one order or for every $25, you get one uh, ticket in there, okay? So even if it's a $10 scraper, all right, you still get one ticket in there and definitely need a scraper. All right, so see it's gone up to seven. We're gonna release this and make sure that um, it is away from your cabinets because you don't want the water going onto your cabinets or your walls, okay? And you can see the steam coming out, okay? There's the steam coming out, we're releasing it. Well, that releases, I'll go get my stuff. Here's the stuff that's being put in that bag. All right, let me put that there. All right, it is still coming out. And once this is done, we can plate it up or put it in a, in a container, we'll bowl it. Uh, hmm, those look like those, I see, yeah, those are nice bananas over there, JFJ. We can make um, banana ice cream, freeze the bananas and make that banana ice cream. Yeah, I gotta eat one of those. We got, oh wow, I got, we got four bananas left, four ripe bananas. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I was late. I had a technical difficulty, so I forgot. I hope I rounded up. Yeah, you did, because it was an even 31. You did round up. That I do know. Good morning, Tony Dean. How are you doing? We're making chicken parm in the quick cooker. This is a like a uh, casserole type chicken parmesan. We sauteed up our chicken. We put it in our sauce, pasta, and water, and we let the thing go. And now we're opening it up. You came just in time, Tony. All right, so it opens up. There's going to be water underneath it. Either put it back in or take it and put it in the sink. Make sure you have a thing. So you can see the water drip off right there. Not too much. All right, there you go. All right, I'm going to put this over here. Whoops. There you go. And I'll bring you over and I'll, check, I'll let you look inside. All right, so there's our our chicken parm right in there. It is, this pasta should be done. All we're doing is cooking the pasta up and finishing off the chicken. All right, so let's put you down and I'm gonna get that thing, the spoon. There you go. And mix it up. Oh, it's nice, y'all. Oh, those pasta got really big. All right. All right, I'm gonna get a little, little bowl. I'm gonna turn this off too, because if I, if I didn't turn that off, cancel it, it would keep it warm until um, for hours later. So I'm going to use my little, uh, this is the on um, the part of the charcuterie bowl uh, set. And I use this as my tasting bowls here in the final picture. All right. So we're going to get our chicken and pasta out. There we go. Let's get some chicken on there. And one more piece of chicken. There we go. There we go. And there's our chicken uh, parm. And you can get some shredded mozzarella on here, which I'm not doing that right now, y'all, because I don't need all those calories, all right? And we can get a little bit of Parmesan cheese, okay? Sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on there, all right? Just a little bit, all right? And your um, breadcrumbs, whoa. And voila, just put a little more Parmesan cheese right on top. Oh, God, y'all, this looks beautiful. And this will be our final picture. All right, so we can get some basil and put some basil on here. It'll give a nice little spread, spread of color. Yeah, the Parmesan cheese, that's what makes it really Parmesan, okay? Uh, that is really nice. All right, so let's come over here. I'm going to show you um, some of the stuff that's going to be in the bag for every um, from every order. So we have 11 orders right now that were on the uh, Feeding Fundraiser, Feeding America Fundraiser, all right? And I have a bag. I already opened one up. This is my second one. Let me get the water off here so I don't get this all wet. There we go. So in my bag, all right, we're going to be putting in a whole thing. This is like worth like 24 bucks right here, the pea protein. So whoever's going to win, we're going to get give you the pea protein. You're going to get a current season's best. You're going to get a vintage season best. That's three. Dijon mustard, four. Five is a note, notepad and a Pampered Chef pen. Okay, that's uh, five and six, seven, eight, okay, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, eleven. Then we have twelve. Next order is gonna um, we're gonna put the the uh, nylon knife in here. Okay, nylon. This is this is for ten bucks, y'all. Okay, 
Uh, so this is quite a lot. People are going to get quite a lot of stuff. That's that's uh, 12, all right? So when I, I need a couple more orders, all right? And some of the other stuff that's going to be going in is the web camera uh, cover, all right? The um, This is worth a lot of money, too. This is the uh, uh, small decorating bag set. We have another stylus pen by Pamper Chuck. You can use this as a stylus and actually hold your pen up or hold your phone up, all right? Uh, this one here, we have a nice little um uh kitchen towel and then we have the mat all right so this will be like uh 12 13 14 15 i have six, 16 so we have five more items to put in the bag all right so how do you get all this stuff well you need to order on the pamper chef feeding america fundraiser this stuff here is probably valued at over fifty dollars fifty dollars plus yeah these are nice things mary this is not like this is not crap all right this is like really good useful stuff like this one here this is three dollars all right i don't know this is probably 12 or 15. i know these are five this is priceless because you can't buy this anymore y'all can't get these all right uh these are our vintage this you can't buy uh this is part of the uh, 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 taste buds. All right. These you can buy and this you can buy. All right. This you can buy, which this is like 10 bucks right here. All right. These you can't buy the pamper chef knives. All right. Or pen. All right. And you can buy this is $24. So this is quite a lot. We're talking expensive, a nice little array of pamper chef, uh, swag, your swag. All right. So get your orders in for every $25, you get one ticket in here. All right. So if you have a hundred dollar order, you get four tickets. You can also, if you are not purchasing anything, you can actually host your own show. Now, the only thing when you host your own show, it needs to be in April or May. All right. And I will not send this until your order your, until your party is submitted. It needs to be $200. So don't tell me, Oh, well, I'll have a party and then like not show up. All right. So it'll be held until your uh, uh, party is submitted. It needs to have $200 in order to, to get this sent out. All right. Uh, or you can go into the table, which is the uh, party platform that it's a pamper check website. And you can take a look at how the new parties are going to be looking. The link is in my profile. It is right here. Only one ticket. Yeah. You only need one ticket to win. Remember we did that one ticket one time and I pulled that girl's name and she, she canceled her order the night before and she would have won like a lot of stuff. Y'all remember that. That was, that was, that was priceless. That was on Periscope priceless day. All right. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for coming in and supporting my uh, broadcast here. We are on hats, uh, which is a social media app where you can go live and share out and I'm sharing it out up to YouTube, Twitter, uh, Periscope, uh, uh, Twitch and also over to my Facebook uh, VIP group, which you all need to be part of that if you're not, because I'll probably be going live more there. Uh, my business page and my personal profile. I rarely ever sh uh, do lives on my personal profile. All right. I usually do lives um, on my business page or my VIP group, but I want to let them get in on the Feeding um, Texas fundraiser. Okay. You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. We had some really good times on Periscope, y'all. You remember that scope? <laughs> I love doing the little mystery, like the, the putting in the ball. So this is this is something that you can actually get in on this swag. Okay, winner takes it all. I don't go into like here's one, here's one. Winner takes it all. I just put it all in one box and off it goes. Okay, so that's that's a lot of fun. So anyway, um, my name is Alexis, for those of you who don't know, and I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef. And yes, I sell kitchen tools from my house to your house, to VIA, a warehouse up in Chicago. Um, I have a lot of stuff here. If you go over on the Periscope, I've showed you some of the stuff, but that's only a part of it. I still have more stuff out there. Uh, so anyway, um, please remember to, let me see, your battery's running low. Okay, my battery's running low on my on my um, laptop. And I like scoping on, on uh, portrait, but I do start the broadcast on my laptop and I'll show you my setup right here. Right now, since my oven's not on, uh, I have my, my laptop right here and I have to like stop my broadcast <laughs> over there and then come over here and stop it here also. So let's see, um, let me see if I can get a final picture in. Uh, we sort of want that, I sort of want that. Uh, yeah, we want this. Remember, hey, Facebook user, how you doing? All right, so let's see if I can, uh, let's see if we can get a final picture in. Uh, if I can get it down, there we go. And the final picture will be right there. All right, and let's uh, focus in. 
a little bit more. We have our quick cooker, which is available for sale. I have it focused in too far. Let's go back down. Oh, get out of there. Cancel. There we go. There. And we have our quick cooker and we have our chicken parmesan. Let me get some um, uh, basil out and we can put a little bit of basil on there. Right. I have some basil left. All right. Get some little pieces of basil. And boy, let's get a smaller piece of basil. Good grief. I got a lot of basil here, y'all. We need to use this up. I can do a chefinade, but that might take a little too long. All right, so let's just do a little piece of basil, put it right there, and voila, we have a great little piece of, of um, there, right there. We'll do that as our final shot, all right. We'll get our little herb and garlic, which is my favorite seasoning of all time with Pamper Chef. I use that quite often, and um, I know that this is tasting good. Let me uh, shut my refrigerator door and put the basil back. Put the basil back first shut the door and we need to taste this first y'all i'm gonna get another little sample out all right just a little sample there we go yeah let's keep that thing all right so parmesan on there yeah and a little bit of that and let's see we got we got the, our little sample right there and i'll take it and let's see eat our chicken Mm. I gotta cut my pasta up, y'all. It's a big piece of pasta. That crunch, the um, the part, the uh, parma, the uh, panko breadcrumbs gives it a nice little crunch on here. All right. Oh, this is good. I don't need nothing on here. All right. Mm mm mm. Those don't need nothing. Alexis cleaned the bowl. All right. Yum, yum, yum. So my dinner is done. All I have to do is heat it up. All right. The sink is in the final picture. Well, um, hold on. Because I can't do, I can't hold you. Let me see. There we go. Final picture. I can, I can stop the broadcast on the uh, computer because this is the thing you have to stop the broadcast on the computer because that's where I first went live and then stop it on the phone which is really funny have a great day everybody I will see you all next time when I scope and uh, if you want to order please the link is in my profile reach out to me I would I am available all day if you want to call me and uh, place your order with me okay so thanks for coming in I appreciate it and I'll see you all next time bye and my computer died, so I'm not sure if I can even get the broadcast to end. <laughs> okay, this is going to be tricky. All right, let's see. And.